for some reason, I just felt really compelled to come out here and say this before I hop on the game and start broadcasting. In the past, I have made some very bad choices and um, did some things that I was not proud of. Um, but I did get my head out my booty and I got away from those situations and I got clean um, and I just want to say that if you are an addict there's help out there and just because you are an addict does not make you a piece of crap and it does not make you unloved or unworthy no matter what you've done no matter who you've hurt what matters the most is you're hurting yourself more than anything and you're loved and you're worthy and I understand how that feels to have that in you and I may not have done the same thing that you did, um, but I'm pretty sure you can. I can definitely relate. To those of you women out there who are struggling with addiction and you have children, please think about your babies. Think about your babies and how much they need you, okay? And how much you truly need them. And how much they truly love you. But you need to love yourself. And you need to give it to Jesus. It sounds crazy, whether you believe or you don't believe. Just try it. I mean, you're already trying other stuff already. You might as well try that. But if you need help, go get help. Go to rehab. Reach out to someone. But please, stop reaching out for the darkness. You're better than that. Way better than that. Love yourself, please. Please. And this goes out to everyone that's struggling with it. But my main focus is to the women. Because to me, they are mothers. And they need to love their self and help their self so they can help their babies and protect their babies. It's really hard I know people who have lost their parents at a young age to addiction, but it really changes the child. So I know you might like the numbness and the way you feel and you know, just like you just do it cause you, for whatever reason you do it. If you have children, please think about them. And if you have children and your babies are taken away and you feel like there's no hope, honey, there is. There really is. There's people out there that will help you. And there's people that will pray for you. And Jesus is always there for you. He will never turn his back on you as long as you do not turn your back on him or let him in. Just try it. I mean, you've tried other things. Just try that. I, and, I, and I'm sure I know what's going through your head and what you're thinking because I've been there. Dude, I've been pretty low at times. And, um, well, I said some horrible things to, to God and and uh, wasn't living 
Well, the way I should have been living. And um, he never turns back on me. Never ever. He is an amazing energy. And when you're feeling low or depressed, and you feel like the only thing you need to turn to is that needle, that pipe, that line, that pill, that bottle, that bowl. some worship music. Pick up a Bible. Even if you don't want to read the Bible, just pick it up. Open it. And just leave it in your house. That feeling is so amazing. That feeling is so amazing. Um, and it may not work for you. You know, um, just be open. But please know there's help for you and that you're loved. You need to remember that. You're worthy. No matter what you have done, you can be forgiven. You can. And you can get through this. Trust me. I battle with things every day. I'm not going to tell you that it's a bed of roses because it's not. Because the better of a person you try to be, the more dark energy that comes for you. Because that dark energy knows what good you're going to do. How good you are. And it doesn't want you to. But you know you want to be good. And you know you don't need to be like this. And I'm sorry for whatever hurt you or made you feel the need that you needed to reach out for that. Because I, I know what it did for me. And why I did what I did. But that's not who you are. And that's not who I am. That doesn't. That, that's not what makes you. Mm -mm. What makes you you. Is you having faith in yourself. And you loving yourself. And you telling yourself that you are better than this. You are not. Not. Going to give up. Don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up. You're worth it. You're worth fighting for. You are. Fight for yourself. There's others out there that will help you. I promise. And if there's not, hit me up. I got you. I'll talk to you. I'll help you as much as I can. And I'll pray for you as much as I can. And you know what? I will not judge you on anything that you've done. Because that's not what you need. You don't need judgment. You need somebody to build you back up. You need somebody to let you know it's okay. It's okay. It'll be okay. It will be okay. Help is there. If you feel you can't find help, I'll help you find help. I'll, I'll reach out to as many resources as I can to help you and uh, keep it confidential. So... I just had to come up here and say that. I don't know why. I just felt compelled to. But you're not the only one that suffers from addiction. And just because you are an addict, don't make you unworthy or any less human than the rest of us. Okay? Please stay safe. Stay blessed. <laughs>